Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Knife 29 and here's what's in our backpack. We are underweight. Uh, we got a book we can read. Uh, we got some clothing that we found that we can tear apart. We'll come back to that though. Uh, we have raw meat and a bunch of water. We have some broken arrows. Let's harvest those. There we go. And what do we got? There we go. And we have a fresh deer hide that I should have put on the ground, but I forgot. So I don't care. We are day 275. And here's our skills. Ice fishing, rifle, revolver, and this one. That's the book we got. So it's almost nighttime. Um, I... Ooh. You know what? We're gonna... We're just gonna keep going through here. I'm trying to think. Did we... Hmm. I think we came from that way. So we're gonna go this way. Um, we have the hypothermia for 10 more hours. So we gotta stay above zero for that amount of time. Let's do this and gather sticks I guess while we go if we had food I would just stay here and read the book and sleep until the hypothermia was gone but we don't have food um, that Raw meat is 0.3. I want to save that. Use that as like just the scent meat. Run, little birdie, run. So hopefully our visibility is, well, better than it is. <laughs> we got, I, I'm guessing we're going to go back to the farm or the barn, whatever you want to call that place. Is it Spence? I don't know. So when you watch the vid on YouTube, when you wake up. Did I find any signal caches in Forlorn? I might have. Tired. Why would I tell you? What do you ever do for me? <laughs> That's a, uh, you do lots for me. <laughs> That's not even a fair question. <laughs> Let's eat that. I don't want to ruin the surprise, uh, but I will just say we can leave. Um, this should tell you something. <laughs> we 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 went for a swim again, but I don't care. Because I was looking for something. All right, now. Oh, man. We got to sleep. If there was enough cattails in this area, there probably is. But if there was enough cattails or maybe even just like a deer, I would go for that. And then I would go right back in that cave. It's plus seven. So we got that going for us. Oh, and we have 11 sticks. Okay.
There's crows up ahead. What are they for? Oh, those are probably wolves. There's something like over 300 cattails. Yeah, but there doesn't seem to be any around here. Um, well, you know what? I mean, I would prefer it to be deer. But we're not very far from that cave. I can just... Is that... No, that's a dead wolf. I can just take meat off of these wolves. We'll go for this one because... That looks like a deer. I mean, we're cooking the meat anyway, so it doesn't matter. I just figured I would like a deer. Uh, let's do that. We'll do that. That gives us a 0.5 piece, but the next piece, that's the... That'll be the scent meat. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab a couple of kilograms off of the wolves. Where did you go? There you are. I think we'll go right back to the cave. Uh, we have no no sprint right now. I don't have any coffee made, do I? No, I don't. Well, this path worked for us last time, so let's do it again. Yeah, we'll get back in the cave. I'll sleep for a couple of hours just to get uh, some of our alertness back, and then I'll make a fire and cook this meat. And then we can sleep once our belly is full. Uh, that's eight hours. Well, the good thing is when we wake up, we won't have hypothermia anymore. I should go there, eh? <laughs> that's where it is. Before we leave here, we're going to have to go back to the camp, uh, kind of look through there and see what we want to take, and uh, hmm. I'm kind of wondering about all those birch saplings. Should we craft those before we leave? Craft them into arrow shafts and take them with us. Uh, we have to grab the flask, obviously. And we'll go to Mystery Lake first, just so we can get rid of the flask uh, and the bullets. Probably craft 
as many arrows that we can when we're there. Uh, what else? Don't know. Well, then it's uh, like, where else? What what region should we go to? Did we look for signal caches in uh, Broken Railroad? I don't remember. I don't remember, and I don't know if there is a way of finding out. When we get inside, I mean, we're not cold. Yeah, I really wish that one of these would tell us. Um, oops, let's go here. Yeah, these don't even tell you that you found something, like... They'll tell you if you, like, obviously if you went to a bunker, but they won't tell you you found... A cache. You haven't searched for signal caches in Ash Canyon. Can't remember if you did in Broken Railroad Brain Fog. We can go to Ash Canyon. Sad Astrid. Let's just do two hours. All right. Uh, the sad thing is that's not going to do very much for us. This is a horrible spot. Can you give me green? That works. Let's just do it. There we go. Uh, we have a pot. Let's get some sticks on there before I forget. And we have a skillet right there. All right, we don't. You know what? I want. I don't. I don't want to have to think about this. Let's do that. Fifteen minutes. Twenty two minutes. Uh, it, while we're waiting, there's twenty minutes. Let's harvest those. These are the clothing we found. This is not clothing that went bad on us. Uh, cooked, yes. Thirty-nine. Let's get some more sticks. All right, you're eleven. That works. Cooked. There we go. We're full. Twenty-two. 
24 minutes. So you had a choice of two words for today. You chose the one you could pronounce. The other is real difficult, and it's a German word. <laughs> yeah, my German's not so good. Uh, we'll take that. All right, that's our last T. Get a coffee, seven, six. And let's do a birch bark. Let's do another birch bark. And. All right, we got two birch barks. We will do an. Ah, what? Let's do it. And let's do a coffee. Alright, that's my stink meat. And... I'm just gonna drink one of these. I'm gonna save the tea. wake up no more hypothermia there it is it's gone and we got most of our condition back off of that uh, let's eat you. Fill the belly. Where? Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to turn this on. I, I'm pretty sure there's nothing on the ground, but I just want to make sure. I didn't leave anything. Okay, we are good. We don't need a rope. Let's go. We have a bar of scent. And we have 31 arrows. Today's word is gelid. What does gelid mean? I'm going up here because I can't remember. Uh, we have another. We do have one piece of charcoal. We have another. Uh, what do you call that? Vista. And I don't remember where it is. The map is kind of doesn't really tell us. I mean, it tells us it's over there. There's the poacher's camp. That's where we're headed. I don't know. Let's go see if it's up here. It also could be Marsh Overlook. Anything in here? Oh, look at that. That's a interesting little nook. Gelid means very cold or icy. Nice. Aha! Yeah. 
That's a vista. That is worth your while. Some of them are really not worth your while. Some of them are very, very, very not worth your while. Yes, it can get very jellied in that long dark. Yeah, we got both of them. We got them both. We got the other one yesterday. That's not something that happens too often is where I can get both of the vistas for a region. And if they all opened up as much as these ones did, I would kind of want to get them all. But some of them is just so disappointing. You're like, really? That's barely big enough than a regular uh, mapping. At Creek. I believe we have to go to the big mountain and to the left. I just remembered that all by myself. And I will be stopping, like I, I was saying yesterday, I will be stopping at every deer carcass and taking the remainder of the meat uh, to get that that less than 0.5 piece that we can use purely for scent we will keep those six pieces away from any of our other meat when we store it so we don't accidentally cook it one day uh, because we're going to be walking primarily with three bars of scent through the regions we're going to, to take out the predators. Not playing that game again. I had a bad record for that. <laughs> and yeah. And then that way, if, if I ever do accidentally eat it it's it's deer meat we just get food poisoning and take some pills and sleep and we're good but I will no longer ever be using predator meat as my stink meat unless I absolutely have no other choice Uh, we're just going to grab sticks while we go back to. I wonder how many sticks are on the ground at the camp. There's a lot. Where's my mountain? Coach taught me. Look to the mountain. That's the mountain. Yeah. Okay, let's try this way. What's the time? It's almost midday, okay. At least she didn't say she's never been this cold before, because I would have called her out on that. You've been plenty colder.
No. I'm really not taking any chances with that. Let's do this. the last two days of streaming I'm a little nervous with the nice right now I will be happy to be out of this region there's our destination I can see the cabin now or one of the barns at least And I believe if we just go straight, then we're kind of at that little path. And there is no danger that way. Let's do this. Where's Darth? That's for you, Darth. There we go. just go to the bunker and read this book so we don't have to carry it. I mean, we can always just grab our stuff and go. We do have that one pie as well to help with our carrying capacity. that let's take one more that'll fill our belly what you find funny at this point between Darth and having to drink teas for health, Nifos kept scurvy at bay whilst probably not really meaning to. <laughs> that is a side benefit. Yeah, Darth loves the cattail stuff. So like, all right, I'll eat a cattail for you because you've been good to me. And it's kind of his thing, right? But yeah, we're also taking in some vitamin C at the same time. Could there be one piece of birch bark here, please? Could there? I'm just begging for one. I'm not asking for 17. Just give me one. Game says nope. Alright, there's deer over there, but... I think uh, those, those less than 0.5 pieces that I'm going to be taking from the deer... I think it's going to be from carcasses. I'm not specifically going to be hunting to get that. Uh, you are one kilogram. You are one. I'll take one cooked piece there. I have to break these down too. 
We have five pieces of coal, right? Well. Now we have ten. I'm going to take some matches because, yeah, these are getting a little sketchy. Uh, we basically need everything in there. And the stuff down here, we don't really need any of this. Ooh, we're gaining temperature. Well, can we break these two down and still gain temperature? Damn it. Double click. Come on. Come on. That's not what I wanted. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Why is my mouse doing this to me now? <laughs> I'm a little slow. Oh my god. If I ever get my hands on somebody at Logitech, oh my. They will get an earful. Was that as frustrating for y'all as it was for me? Oh, please don't do this. It's double clicking a lot now. Why? Why? Maybe it's me. Maybe it's just me. Let's drop those. Uh, there's nothing else that I need that's here. This bow is no good. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's the opposite of no good. That's actually a really good bow. That's a brand new one. You love your Logitech. I like mine until that happens, and then I absolutely hate it. Alright, we're obviously going to be grabbing some sticks along the way. Probably not too many. Like, we're not going out of our way to grab them, but... See, the paranoia I have right now is is the double click. Remember, that's when I accidentally drank something rather than go to eat something. And so now having raw meat, I do not want to accidentally double click on the raw meat. I have... Uh, Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one thing if I do something accidentally, you know, like, oops, I ate some raw meat, whatever, I'll, I'll get over it, right? But if it's an equipment failure that causes this, I will be furious. Oh, this is going to be so painful. And I don't even trust to hook up my other one. It's literally just putting a dongle into the <laughs> into the computer and it's hooked up. But I'm not even interested in doing that. This is so sketchy. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Alright, there we go. Uh, we got enough time. It's Let's go back out there. There we go. No raw meat. I think we can... Uh, I mean, it was a toss-up. Do I do I craft the arrow shafts or do I read the book? The arrow shafts 
or, or the saplings are heavier than the book. So we'll do those first. And do we have, we don't have any rose hips that need to be gathered. We have a lot of, yeah, we have 23 mushrooms though. We don't really need rose hips at this point. Look at all the deer. We got one right there. We got one right there and we got that one right there. It's all girls. No boys. Oh, we're gaining temperature. We don't even need a fire right now. Nice. Plus seven. And here I thought that was uh, just one. <laughs> I didn't realize that was so many pies. I thought that was just one pie I picked up. Three hours. Let's do it until we can't do it. That worked out well. Uh, I don't want to take all of the cooked meat. It is quite calm here. You know that. Let's not use that fire. Let's use this fire. We can get some more meat cooked up. Come on, little fire. Always take your sticks from the outside. There's no reason, it's just the way I like to do it. Now let's do that. Uh, we don't have moose meat out here, do we? We just have the bear. We'll keep you there. That That is a habit. That's what that is. Alright, 55 minutes. We should... 45 minutes. Sounds like night is coming. There we go. Uh, this pack is getting kind of heavy. I don't know if I want to throw two pieces of fur. You know what? I don't want to use the fur. I really don't. Let's just grab sticks. We can only make one anyways. We only have one arrowhead. We have lots of arrow shafts. So that is good. Um, how's our arrows? That one's probably going to break. I don't know if I need to bring that toolbox. Or not. Take you just for some light. How much water do we have? 196. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Let's do that. Let's do that. That should be good. Uh, can we, or do we, need to repair anything? Let's go with that. Surrounded by snow and 
nothing to drink. Should I actually be dropping this stuff? There you go, Astrid. That is a spare that we found. That is a very good spare. You're... Yeah, let's go with you. You go up by 0.3. 12 minutes until boiled. That is boiled. That's boiled. Let's take you. Let's take you. Much more. Let's do that. But did I get all my pies? I did eight. That's the bad bow. Okay. There we go. Let's go. In the bunker. I was considering actually sleeping there because we have so much wood I thought you know what why not just make a fire and spend the night there but uh then I thought, oh, well, I left my scent meat up at the bunker, so we may as well go back up there. <coughs> Damn it. Well, we had one too many bandages anyway. Be happy to be out of the musk egg. try I don't know if this is gonna work but I just shut off my mouse and turned it back on and I'm gonna hope that for some reason that makes the double clicking not happen it's kind of equivalent to me with the radio flipping it back to the other going from bunker to to cash <laughs> for no reason I'm an idiot that way and right, there's the bunker I can see it and there's my meat It didn't fix it. You saw it when I was trying to light the lantern. It's like, nope, I don't want to light. Uh, what? I should check my sled. Let's harvest you. I don't care about the lantern fuel right now. Uh, where is our sled? 86. Well, we might repair it before we leave. Uh... Eat you. 
should be good. Do that, and we'll just go to bed. Ten hours. You would think I would remember. I think it's just one gut. But I think it's kind of, you know, it, it doesn't really need to be repaired, honestly. But we have all these hides and all these guts. Why, why, why leave before we do that? Let's go. We're done here. I wonder if I can drop any of this here. So what bow comes out? That is the wood rights. There's survival. That's the wood rights. Okay, good. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Um should I go this way? I think when we get to the camp office, we'll probably drop off the wood rights bow. It's at 51. I mean, it's got another 100 shots. Damn it, Astrid. That's, that's, I, I, I blew on it whilst I was sleeping there. Is my mouse hygiene slacking? <laughs> Blowing isn't enough. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> uh, that means I gotta take it apart and I don't work very well. Knife of logic, I blew on it equals cleaning it. Welcome in coach. Hey coach, you weren't here. Or maybe you were. I used the mountain to find my way. I did, I did. It, it, here, here's how things work in my world. I can take things apart. Almost anything. Right? It's the, it's the, it's that putting things back together thing. <laughs> Is where things go south. That's the part that I don't like. And on these mice, you know what? This is this is one of the tactics I, I, I can't stand with companies. You have to, in order to take this mouse apart, you have to take the slide pads off because that's where the screws are, is underneath there. And the last time I took the slide pads off of my other mouse, it kind of peeled the uh, the pad in half, so like the sticky part of it stayed on the mouse, but the the slidey part came off, and I had to order new ones. And that is just a foul, foul, foul technique for anyone to employ. Because I'm not even buying those slides off of Logitech. I'm buying them from some guy who has them in his basement. So you're not making money off me. Put the screws where I can get to them.
There is a YouTube video for everything these days. That is true. I will take my mouse apart. I will. For y'all. I will. But just let it be known. <laughs> yeah, they put the screws to you, Nafo. Yes. Like, well, I don't, like I said, I, I don't understand, right? Because, you, like I said, you're not buying the replacements off of the company because they want, like, double what Johnny in his basement wants. And the ones Johnny sells work just as good. So why do you have to possibly break your mouse in order to take it apart? I don't get it. Dirty mouse rant. This isn't a rant. And actually, it's not a dirty mouse rant. It's a mouse assembly rant. Yeah. Assembly tactics. We will do this in the hopes that 2% of our customers are foolish enough to order these overpriced little pieces of plastic from us. Yeah. Wow, Murd, that's a whole lot of sirens. <laughs> Murd put sirens in there for not only himself, but for XM and Copper. I have obviously a love-hate relationship with this mouse. Clearly I love it as I have not replaced it. I really do like it. When it works properly, oh boy, I love this mouse. I need to find some place to escape this cold. <laughs> but I do agree with XM. It could be, you know, in my house, it could be a cat hair. It could also be a piece of dust. And that's all I have to say about that. Murd's preoccupied looking at his sirens that he doesn't understand that we're walking a lengthy distance and it's pretty close to that time. Just saying. Just saying. He's gonna hit it when it's gonna be thin ice. Yeah, I've talked about Razor in the past. Like, I have bad luck with some items and, you know, previously I thought, you know, Razor's the way to go. They're the big name, right? And yeah, I couldn't run their software on my computer without it crashing my windows. No idea why. Uh, the wife's nephew had Razor, and he had no issues with his. Damn. I'm freezing. It's just mine. No, no, I'm going in. I can't go in. Uh, that was sketchy. Because we're overweight. Like, we're 51 kilograms. We could have went in. I will hate my life if I go in the water one more time. It's bad enough. That's four times in th two days of streaming. Uh, Murd wants a stretch in wolf territory. All right, fine. I'll do it. There we go. Thanks, Murd. That one came out of nowhere, didn't it? <laughs> Pathetic and get a bathing suit. <laughs> Ooh, 
What we need is a fire. Or a cave. Is there... This isn't where the cave is, is it? I don't think so. I'm going to go up here and look, though, because if it is, then that's bonus. How much longer do I got to listen to this? Two hours and 14 minutes, which I don't know what that equates to in game time, like... Five minutes, ten minutes, I don't know. Three minutes, maybe? Right, clearly there's no cave. I would, I would prefer a cave. I didn't bring this coal to use it whilst we walk out of the region. I brought it to take to the new region. Nifo and total lack of cave knowledge in Forlorn. No kidding, right? All of these little dips kind of look the same to me though, right? Minus 19 on the wind. It's only actually minus 4. So maybe we don't really need a fire. It's not ferociously cold. We got a little bit of a wind block there and we're gaining temperature. Oh. <laughs> hey Murd, guess what I haven't done? I haven't complained about the pies. All I've said about the pies so far is, oh, I didn't realize I actually had picked up more than I did. I'll do that. I will do that and we will drink. I might read my board. I'm, I'm sitting here because I'm in A wind block and gaining temperature. Can I get any on here? There we go. And we've healed the pain. This is working. And now the book is done. Who's the smarty pants here, eh? Look at that. You are... Done. This one. Gunsmithing's like almost. Oh no! <laughs> Who is not smart anymore? Let's go. Well, it kind of worked, so. The game overheard me getting like all cocky, so it's like, oh yeah? You think you warmed up? No, you didn't. Give me that. to drop it 
You can't just drop it in the snow. That's not right. There we go. Sixty and that tree head, but yeah, I think we're close, right? Are we close? That's why I'm grabbing the sticks. If we need to cook some meat. Uh, we have... We have some cooked meat. load for much longer all right wood rights bow please please there you go uh where's the other sport bow what did i ever do with it is it part of this no sticks all right first things first let's get rid of this flask we have a lot of flasks but none as nice as this one there's the bunny there they are look at them if only 
There we go. Actually, let's do it this way. There we go. And we have a bunch of sticks here. Well, let's get some food cooked. The other sports bow was left in Timberwolf Mountain. Okay. Come on, little fire. Perfect. Uh, let's make sure. To not have the fire go out. There it is. Oh, you have no idea how sketchy that is right now. Why is it giving me the option to cook the bear meat? It said it was cooked. Or, the, oh, I don't know how this works. It, it's telling me what it'll turn into. That's what it was, right? That's one of those things I've never paid much attention to. And it doesn't really make sense to me as to why it would tell me that. If you cook this bear meat, it'll turn into cooked bear meat. Thanks. Uh, do I have any books? Oh, shush. You can go downstairs. Is where you can go. Throw you right there. We got a regular revolver. We got those ones. We got our ballistic vest. Um, aha! <laughs> I don't care if it looks stupid, it's there. There we go. There we go. I almost... I, I almost want this to be angled a little bit more. There we go. And we don't have anything in anything here, really. Uh, we do have this. We have some flares. We have some deer hides. We have these. Uh, we got to sharpen that. These have to go to the mountain, the, the trapper's cabin. Sorry, not the mountaineer's hut. My brain is thinking right now of Timberwolf Mountain. Twelve, thirteen, let's take those. Whoops. That is not what I wanted to do. Forty-six. That's an hour. Have you ever asked yourself why are there no fire engines or snow plows at the Forsaken Airfield? Because they probably use those to leave. No, that's probably not what they used. <laughs> but that's actually a good question. There should be. Because that is an airport and they need to have emergency vehicles and they need to plow the snow. Good question, coach. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, 
27 minutes. Let's repair that. Now let's just meet six minutes till ready. Make some water, I guess. We need an hour 24. That'll work. Do that, we'll do this. And I guess, what is it? It's about 40 minutes for that. For that liter of water to boil. Eighteen minutes. We don't know oh, that's exactly eighteen minutes. You know what? If I repair that, I can swap and wear that one. And then my backup is at ninety-five. That works. Have you ever had two technical balaclavas? I have. Now. <laughs> and what are you gonna go to? You're at 91 though, like I shouldn't even be doing this. Yes, often from Desolation Point. Really? Wait, Forlorn has a cache that has a technical balaclava? Wow, I thought there was only a chance for an extra one in DP. Uh, Forlorn might have a cache that has a technical balaclava. I don't know. Why do you think that's where I got it? How do you know? Why you make wild assumptions? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're not repairing anything. And we have one piece of coal. Or claw. Dummy. Uh, everything's... You know what? What the hell? One piece, 36? Oh, we can't repair in the dark? Okay, fine. Do that way. Let's just drink. Maybe we should go to Desolation Point and see if we can find a third one. And then I'll ask the question, you ever had three? <sighs> 007 meat that is cooked. Because you're the smart twin, that's how you know. <laughs> Murd's over there putting two and two together. I'm over here subtracting one. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh, I can't do this because I need two pieces of cloth. Uh, well, it's daylight enough that we can fix this one at least, and then we can have a peek if there's any cloth here somewhere. Uh, there's the pillow. I don't really... That's, oh, that's two for nine minutes. Okay, that's fine. I'll do it. And what was I going to repair in here? Oh, the... Hmm. Oh, I was going to repair you. Our sewing kit is pooched. There we go. We are good. I would love to repair you. Just to have one that's a hundred percent. Look at them all. And my two flashlights. Uh, I, I think I used to have scrap metal here. Oh, baby. 121. I don't need that though, because I do have some on me. Uh, 
is reading. You don't have that signal cache and desolation point you checked. I imagine you either get one or the other, not both. Yeah, that's probably, I mean, it's, it is nice that they give you that. Uh, we don't need anything here, do we? We can't, yeah, we need arrowheads. Well, the real question is, do we have, should we be bringing this? I'm going to bring the toolbox. I don't care. I'm going to bring the toolbox because the last thing I want to do is get somewhere. And find out I can't make arrows because I don't actually have a red toolbox in that spot. What's our weight at? 52. You know what? We have all these pies. There we go. We didn't really need to eat the pie, but what the hell, right? So we have 33 arrows. We have a whole bunch of arrow shafts. I'm trying to remember when we came here briefly while we were in Forlorn. Did I grab those 10 arrow shafts out of the, the locker? I remember seeing them and laughing because I was supposed to only take 10. And that's not the first time I've been confused as to which was my backpack and which was the locker. I've had that mistake happen a few times. More than I would actually like to admit. This is when the game is most dangerous. Walking into fog with some scent. I will add to that. At least it's not nighttime. Where do I want? Let's go right here. Oh, damn it. <sighs> Still got all my arrows. You know why? Because stupidly. All right, I'm not. Okay. Stupidly, I uh, didn't release the arrow. I had plenty of opportunity to do so and chose to wait because I was thinking, oh, I can get a better shot. Idiot. Idiot. All right. What is all of our stuff and where's our bedroll? You're still at 100. You're all good still. I mean, 89. That's 89 is fine, right? We're good, we're good. So is Ash Canyon our next destination? doesn't like any of his clothing under 90%. So honestly, this would aggravate you that these two are at 89. And do you count the moose bag in that? Because I don't. I, I I don't know how badly or or 
I don't know how bad you have to be at this game to lose your moose bag. Like, it's... I don't think I've ever repaired one. I may have repaired one one time. Does it take just... Leather, yeah. No chance. I mean, I guess if, if the run goes long enough, yeah, that's a little different story, right? Eventually it might need to be repaired. <laughs> Murd really does. 89 is not fine for a murd. This stuff has to be immaculate. Why? Who's... <laughs> ain't a fashion show out here, boy. Ain't nobody out here to see you but the wolves and the bears and the, the deers and the rabbits and the... The ptarmigan and the crows. I, I grew up hearing it's not a fashion show. <laughs> ah, what a terrible thing to say to your child. Everybody else has this. Why can't I have it? Because you get this. That's why. <laughs> I can laugh at it now. How much uh, birch bark did we get out of that? One day I'll remember where it actually goes. We have five. Is it possible to find one piece on here? There's two birch trees. Oh, dude. Yes. I'm not even looking the other direction. I'm not even looking in the other direction. So I think uh, when I get into the the cabin, I think I'm going to take my break at that point uh, because that will be basically the halfway point of the stream. I have to go out after the stream. So I can't go as long as I did yesterday. So, hopefully I'll stick around, go stretch your legs, go get some coffee or some juice or some tea or whatever it is that you like. I'm not sure I can carry much more. And we will just kind of sit here. I don't have no idea why I just crouched, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm going to take my 10 minute break right now and I will be back. All right, I am back. Wow, all of a sudden we feel tall. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Uh, we have that. We have... Well, we don't need to make any more pie, I think. Let's go check. We got we have cloth, okay good. Let's uh let's take ten. Ooh. I'm gonna take all of that for now. Um let's take some of those. We got lots of ptarmigan down, look at that. And I'm going to repair that. XM wants coffee time. Okay. I'll do that. 
It's nice and hot and full. Here we go. There we go. Thanks, XM. I appreciate it. All right, what are our knives at? 62, 33, 33, 68. I hope, oh. Well, luckily I was able to get that. I'll put you there. Uh, I want to sharpen this. Whetstone's at 80%. We need, actually, do we have a sewing kit in here? We do. I'm going to take two, because why not? Uh, what else was in there? I'm going to take some more matches as well. I don't know. We're, we're at 36. Let's grab. That's all. There we go. 49, 46. I'll take three of these and then I can put some matches away. I think that works. And I will take the arrow shafts. There's all my hooks. Sorry, coach. <laughs> I think we're doing some fishing at some point. Uh, these don't weigh anything, so I'm going to take those two. I'm not going to take uh, the other. Oh. Yeah, that was... You can go there. You're five cups. I'm, I'm going to see, is there one that's more? That one. We'll take 10. Take that one. That's 10 as well. Uh, let's kind of make these a little bit. Kind of. Not making them pretty. Just making them cute. Uh, I might actually take more than just the 10. I might take, if there was one of these that's like three or four or something, I don't know. All right, what are all these? You're four. You're 15. That's a good one. walk with this much gear that's six that's ten you were four let's do this right there and I guess why not line up the tea it should go pretty good because it's been in here for a while So it should line up nicely and close. Murd's in the shower. He would be purring right now. Uh, what else do we have here? We got lots of sticks on us. We have... I'm not doing it. I will do... That is point two. That'll go up by point two, and it'll also get rid of this, uh, <laughs> no fishing. That'll get rid of this, uh, here, we can just throw it in here. I'll get rid of that. So we have a lot of coffee now. We have 15 coffees, and we have 11 teas. You're five. You're four. Five. 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 
You know what? We don't need that. Oh, damn it. Will you slide in there? You should. There we go. That works. Okay, those are... We don't need any more of that. Uh... You're at 100, you're at 99, you're good. You're at 100 now, I like that. You're at 100, you're at 100. Uh, we have a lot of fishing tackle. We have... Oh, we gotta get rid of those. Where are my bullets? Where did I keep the bullets? They weren't in here, were they? No, I didn't see them. Where's my bullets? Are they in Timberwolf Mountain? Oh, they're right there. Okay, I gotta drop these where I can make 460 and 159. Which is, which is that way? Let's do that. And I think that's up. That works. Uh, you're at 84. You can't repair it. And did I have a bandage in here? No, probably not. No, I didn't I have nine. I want ten. I would drink almost anything about now. All right, we're I'm gonna eat the wolf meat. Did I leave my deer meat somewhere? Dang it. Whatever. We will, uh... We will get some somewhere. Hey, Rem. Welcome in. Oh, you are so welcome. Don't worry. Twas my pleasure. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, we're back to uh, <laughs> needing meat for scent. I had two pieces that were under 0.5 and I left them somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, one thing I could do is actually go back to uh, the camp office and grab that ptarmigan meat. And maybe we use the ptarmigan meat instead. Let's pull this out. Just in case. What's the time? It's midday. So we are off, I guess, to Ash Canyon. Maybe a little bit of a pit stop in uh, Timberwolf Mountain. I'm going to go around this way. You know what? Every time I come this way, I go that way. I'm going to go around this way. I think I can put this away. Is that a rock? No, 
now I'm curious. Is that actually a piece of birch bark? I never knew you could get birch bark in this little area. All right, fool. Our sticks at 23 and oh sorry what is my weight 55 almost well we are not going to be able to climb the rope into Timberwolf Mountain at this weight what is this we found one of our arrows now we got 34 and a body Go have a peek. Overtime. I don't recall being in this area, so we may not have checked this guy. Oh, we did actually. Whoops. Okay. Well, I didn't recall being in this area because I don't fully know where we are. Maybe I got lost at some point and that brought us out here. I don't know. Uh, I think that way it takes us to the camp office. And so does that way, but a little longer. Let's go this way. I'm wondering... If a bunny might be a good thing to take. I'm going to check the ptarmigan meat and see what, what all sizes it is. But, uh... Bunnies might be the way to go for under 0.5 pieces. Until overtime, and now he's going to bed. All right, Murd. Good to see you, bud. You have a great night, and hopefully, you feel better. And we'll see you maybe tomorrow. Dang. I'm at 30 sticks. I want it to be at 29. I can't count. Now there is, I think, this is something I've never done. Uh, like I was never in, into the micro harvesting that used to happen, which is now 
a thing of the past. Uh, I don't think rabbits are big enough to do it. But when you have, let's say you have like 8.4 kilograms on an animal. If you go all the way to the 8.4 and then back it off, you can take the 0.4 piece first. And I'm trying to do the math. So that should leave like, like 7.9. No, that would leave eight. <laughs> Wait, what? I picked the wrong number. I shouldn't have picked like an 8.4. I don't know, but yeah, you, you can take like the the partial piece first so I'm just kind of wondering how that might work out for rabbits or ptarmigan. I don't want to take ptarmigan because then I will be too inclined to want to Harvest the entire ptarmigan and we have so much ptarmigan down that we're leaving the most like the the bulk of it over at the uh, trapper's cabin but for bunnies, how would that work? It has to be over a kilogram. But you could get like a 1.2. I don't think there would be any trick to it, I guess, right? I mean, just if you're really desperate for that small piece, you could do it that way, I guess. I'm just thinking out loud. Something I've never really thought about in the past. I usually leave the the remaining pieces that are under a kilogram, but right now I kind of want the pieces that are under 0.5. Why did I pull that out? I don't know. Uh, the other thing is, like, I'm going to check this ptarmigan up here that's on the porch. Uh, my scent meat... I kind of want all to be from the same animal. Like all ptarmigan or all deer or all rabbit. Uh, these and, and definitely not predator meat. What are you? You're 0.6. There's one piece. You're a full kilogram. Just make sure that was you. Oh, you're 0.89. You are the one. You are the one. You're 0.2. I think ptarmigan... Oh, I hate that. You know what? I'm going for bunnies. I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to go for bunnies. With a bunny, I can get the... I, I'll, I'll take the hide for basically no reason. But I can harvest the rabbit along with the hide way quicker than the ptarmigan. And maybe we'll do that after we leave and get into Timberwolf Mountain. That way, even though it's under 0.5 pieces, it still adds weight. Uh, what is the sticks weigh? Uh, four and a half, so that puts us at Roughly like 50.8 or so. Uh, what other items do I have that it? Oh, damn it. I needed to drop that. Sorry. I'm not going to drop that on the ice. I'm going to drop it inside. That's a spare. Man, I can't believe I left that deer meat somewhere. 
but it's probably for the better. Because, again, that's weight we would have to take up the rope. Hello, camp office. It's been so long. load for much longer all right uh we'll drop you right there um do we need crampons i'm gonna leave them that looks better yeah i'm gonna leave the crampons uh I'm going to leave that too because we should actually have one in Timberwolf Mountain that we can take. And that should be everything. Uh, these hooks, I'm not worried about the hooks. They're... Where can I put the scrap metal? I don't need that. And you know what? I'm just going to drop these sticks up here. I don't need to take these sticks with me. Let's just get rid of them. Uh, before we do so, let's just move these so they don't... They shouldn't get buried, but maybe they will. Alright, what's that put us at? 4834. That's pretty good. Uh, we can always drop a rock. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Uh, eating and drinking will handle that 0.34. And we can eat drop any of this gear. one of the pies to put us at 48 capacity. And now it's foggy. That's okay, though, because we're not hunting rabbits until we get to Timberwolf Mountain. Now, did we look for signal caches in Timberwolf Mountain? That I don't remember either. I, I honestly don't remember all the regions we've tried. Uh, I know we did the airfield. I believe we did Pleasant Valley. We did Mystery Lake. We did Forlorn. We did Mountain Town. We did HRV. And I don't know if we did Bleak or Black Rock or any. I don't know. Because I, I don't think we really started doing that until we were uh, in the airfield the last time. Um, I don't even remember if we looked for any in Sundered Pass. Forlorn, where the wolves are wild and the ice is thin. Yes, welcome in, Darth. I ate, just so you know, I ate a bunch of cattails for you. And I got them. I don't want to fight. Doink. How are you today, Darth? It's 
So we're basically we're on our way to Timberwolf Mountain. And none of us can remember if I've searched for signal caches out there. We will be hunting rabbits after we climb the rope. Uh, to get meat for scent so that we can clear that each of the regions of their predators. And we're trying to get small pieces of meat that are under 0.5. Bunnies might be a good way to go because you can get rabbits that are like 0.8 or like point uh, like 1.1. So if they're 0.8, you just back it off one, and you're you're at point uh, point three piece of meat, right? I am good. I don't know why I put that away. This is another... Possible wolf spot right here. Do that. Do you remember me searching for those at one point in Timberwolf Mountain? Oh, really? I don't remember. And there's some regions where I like I could look and I could say, oh, okay, I haven't really searched for anything there because the days aren't enough. I think at this point, I think all of the regions have enough days spent in them that it'd be pretty hard to go just based on that. Uh, is that birch bark? I think it is. And I had... We got seven. I should just grab this. There's going to be a whole ton of it in Ash Canyon when we get there. So let's just not even look for any here. As I casually look backwards a little bit. It was a while ago. Yeah. What I'm wondering, was that more of a casual look? Where we just happened to get an Aurora and we're like, oh, let's go kind of have a, a little look-see. Or was it like the official, okay, we're, we're actually here waiting for an Aurora so we can specifically go out and look for them? That is a question, and I don't know if you know. But yeah, I've, I've mentioned already in this stream, that's something I wish that the game would kind of track. I don't want any information available to say where they might, would be. And I don't even know. I mean, I don't know, dude. I, I've heard some people say that the regions have two signal caches, and I've heard some people say that some of the regions could have three. I'm not sure I can carry much more. So, I would like... Hmm. I mean, obviously, there's somebody going to be listening that is like, you know, you could just write this down yourself. Definitely, I could. I could definitely do that. But the game does track other things. I don't want it necessarily to say that we found one of two or one of three. But I wouldn't mind if it said that we found something. 
Like maybe just on your map or sorry, your, your calendar. When you found one, maybe a, a signal cache appears on that day, like, like right here, maybe in there, it's like signal cache. Um, I don't want to use the note system while, I mean, I don't do it when I'm playing by like for myself. I don't want to use it while I'm streaming because I think you guys would be bored with it and I don't want to do it. You don't believe I searched. I haven't been back there since I started doing it. All right. Thanks, XM. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to remember. I think we started doing it in, in, uh, the airfield. When we went back to finish that tale. I can't remember though. And I don't even know if I, uh, uh, if any of the uploaded videos for YouTube, I don't even know if uh, I mentioned in the titles of any of them that that's something that we were doing. Which would give me an instant heads up as to where exactly I started doing that. But I mean, like I said, the game does have a note system where I could keep track <laughs> doink all right i know i said i wasn't gonna go after rabbits this will come in handy see this is what you do you do that and that you get a point one piece. This is what I said I didn't want to do until I climbed the rope, but it was a freebie. Oh, and it's oh, dude. Are we are we legit like micro harvesting? Oh my. Yeah, I don't know why the screen went black. I really don't. We're getting 0.1 kilogram. You can't get lighter than that. Since they uh, took out the micro harvesting. This is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted. The, the smallest pieces possible. Because the game doesn't care how big the piece is. The game just says you have this amount, this many pieces, and we need six of these pieces. I don't know what I'm at right now. <laughs> uh, and I'm not coming out of this. I'm just harvesting the whole thing. I don't care. If I wasn't talking and I was actually counting, I would know when I hit six. I, I'm sure I have more than six right now, but I don't care. I'm just, I'm going to take the whole thing as a thank you to the game for allowing. I'm going to almost, I don't know if you would call this a bug because you're not allowed to micro harvest, but if you have a 1.1, 1 .1, why? Okay. I thought, okay. And you know what? I don't need the guts. I can't take those sticks. Those were obviously for another rabbit. I didn't cause this. I didn't cause this wolf to take out this rabbit. But as a thank you for allowing me to get all of my scent meat in one shot, I will do that. And. We will
There's six. Thank you. All right, we got, uh, let's eat you. I, you have no idea how happy I am. Oh, I should have ate the wolf meat. That's why I ate it last time, just to get rid of it. So I just had one type of meat. So I didn't even have to kill a rabbit. I just got lucky with the wolf taking out the rabbit and the rabbit being the size that I wanted. So I guess my thinking out loud earlier kind of worked out in, a, in the way I was trying to think but couldn't put it into words is when you have more than a kilogram you you can go all the way and then back it off and you can get that 0.1 kilogram but then I didn't imagine at all I didn't imagine it would still have the next piece coming off at 0.1 I thought oh wait that wouldn't work because the next piece is a full kilogram so it'll take that but it doesn't so there's an interesting thing right there. There is a way, I guess, if you want to micro harvest still, there is a way of doing it. It might not always be 0.1 piece, but it might be a 0.2 or 3 or 4. But go all the way and then back it all off until you get to that, uh, that under 0.5 piece. And each piece that you harvest will be the same as that one. And I would actually say that this is an easier way of micro harvesting than the old system of harvesting and, and canceling. Unlike the old system of micro harvesting, I would say that this isn't actually cheating because you're not uh, you're not canceling out of it to do to do dirty. You're just saying, "Hey, I want to take that one little piece," and then the game's like, "Here, you want another little one? <laughs> you got a tiny belly? You got a wee little mouth?" Don't tell Hinterland. Because <laughs> although I never really I can drop any of this gear. partook in the uh, micro harvesting, there are people that love it. So we don't need Hinterland messing around with the uh, the harvesting any more than they already have. Leave it alone, Hinterland. Let those people do what those people want to do. But yeah, I don't know why the why the screen went black. almost just sleep right here but let's not I guess I should go over this way right uh, it's probably been a while and we could probably look for coal but we do have 10 pieces so we're not going to what is our actual weight now look at that even with our scent we're under the 48 I'm kind of glad I dropped all of those sticks. Wait a second.
And we can do with finding another piece of coal. I don't know. What does a piece of coal weigh? What does one piece weigh? Point three. Sure, I can carry much more. Uh, I think at this point the math is kind of pointless because I could try to figure out how many pieces of coal I could find and still make it up the rope, but once we sleep and uh, we eat again and drink again, our weight is all changed again and we eat one of those pies, so I don't know. I think we can stand to find a, a couple more pieces. Maybe three or four. Oh, burn. What the hell was that? Get back in there. That was a piece of coal right at the entrance. Or the exit, depending on which direction you're traveling. No. Give me this one. Since when do you troll us right there? Oh, that's dirty, Hinterland. That's all raft right there. That's what that is. I think we're just gonna, you know what, let's just go in here and stay. I'm not gonna pick up any more, pick up more coal. I didn't say I wasn't going to, I just... Didn't think we were gonna go out of our way to look for any. Let's throw you right here. We're going that way. Whoops, wrong button. How many times have I said I'm going to I'm going to swap those buttons and I still haven't done it? Uh, is there anything we can do? We got more coffee. We got 15 cups plus two made. We have 10 cups of tea now and one that's already made. We can't do anything aside from I guess that. And I could probably, you know what? There's got to be whetstones at the Mountaineer's Hut. Watch, there won't be, and I'll regret this. I don't like to waste my whetstones on knives. So now I have the burning question in my head. Cause let's be let's be honest. There's there's no chance Hinterland's watching any of my videos, right? But as a person who's looking to get views on YouTube and trying to move my channel in the right direction. Let's go to bed. I could title this video, Micro Harvesting is Alive. But, that might draw attention. And, then Hinterland would know. Because I don't... Just about anything right now. I don't know that Hinterland knows that you can do this. I haven't seen anybody do this. I don't watch a whole lot of other people play, though. So, I mean, it's very possible that this was an old thing that's been known for a long time. But do I risk? Because one thing I can't stand is when there's a when, when there's something that I think we've already found them out here. Um, three bars of scent. Let's not be foolish. <laughs> one thing I can't stand is when somebody finds. A bug like that or a workaround to get a bug and they make a video about it drawing all the attention to it and ruining it for everybody else like I said I don't usually take advantage of like I, I didn't even like uh, point fiving meat 
it was it, it bored me to tears but there's those players out there this is a single player game i don't care if you want to micro harvest point one pieces all the time to get your cooking skill up why all of a sudden can i not see the exit of the cave if you want to do that it doesn't affect my life in any possible way go ahead and do it what sucks is when some numbskull like me comes along and like labels their video and, and draws attention to the developer about this and now the developer goes and takes that out again. So I'm going to do the right thing. I'm not titling this video anything about micro harvesting. XM is tired tonight, so you may fall asleep soon. Looks like I made it through another night. Exactly. If they changed it in the update, then I'm it's it's a very good possibility I'm the one to blame for that change, right? And I don't wanna do that. For the very reason, like I said, I, I've said a few times, like, there's things that are in this game that I don't like that Hinterland does not make me use if I don't want to. Uh, such as, like, the cooking recipes and such, right? And I love that because that means there's, there's people out there that love the recipes and they get to use them, but I don't have to if I don't want to. And this micro harvesting thing, which I said already 16 different times, I've never really taken advantage of micro harvesting. I don't even, I didn't even point five meat. I tried it the one time and it just bored me to tears and I stopped doing it. But other people like it. Let them do it. The change they already made where if you have to cancel out, of your harvest because the weather turned and now you don't get any of that meat that you just spent that time harvesting I thought that's a stupid change then you'd be shunned from the long dark community forever no I wouldn't there's other people that are putting out videos to to show this and that and like I said, I don't even know. There might already be somebody who's put a video out to say like, hey, you can do this to micro harvest still. So that video might already be out there. But like I said, I'm going to I'm going to do my part and not draw attention to it. Well, he can't feel anything and he's not complaining. Luckily, we got the wind in our... going our way. Our way or our way. It's more like our way. Minus 16. Oh, you would still blame me, Darth. <laughs> nice. I don't want Hinterland watching my videos anyways, to be honest. I don't want to draw attention to it for that reason. Because every once in a while, you know, I'm not but Like... I'm not a big fan of Raph. I'm a big fan of some of the things he's done. I'm not a big fan of some of the things he's said. And I don't need him seeing me say any of that. Because I've seen... I've seen what he's like when he's mad at a streamer. You all can go look that up for yourselves. I'm not going to direct you to it, but... He is a different kind of person, that man. 
I like some parts of them. But I don't need him watching my videos and say, hey. <laughs> you don't even know who Raph is? Raph's the creator of this game. Raphael. Ben, I think it's Van Lira is how it's pronounced. I might be wrong. I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not intentionally pronouncing it wrong because I, you know, but yeah, this game, he said, he said this game came about when he was playing Fallout 4 and he really liked the traveling, walking around and exploring and not like at like later game where you didn't really have a lot of enemies to deal with and that's how he said he was inspired to for like that's where his inspiration for this game came from and the first thing i thought was hey me and raf play the same game because at the time i was a fanboy i used to be a fanboy but they changed Little bunnies, y'all are so lucky. I don't need any of you. But yeah, I'm not gonna do no big, lengthy raff rant. I, I'm trying to make sure that I also say enough good things because, I mean, listen. I've been playing this game, I think, every day for the last three years. Um... I, I play Fallout 4 and I can't stand Bethesda. I don't really care if I like the developer or not. They're doing what they're doing. I care what they've created and Raph is the main reason that this game is amazing. This is his baby. So... I think it's also proper to say when he's done things really good, and I've tried to add that in too. I mean, I've obviously never met him, I've never actually talked to him in any fashion. He might be exactly the person I would love to hang out with. He's just extremely passionate about his game though. It's his baby and he doesn't want people saying anything bad about his baby. He's way too overprotective of it, and I can understand that. For it is a great baby. in the farmhouse I don't think I'm gonna even bother going to uh, Thompson's I think we're just gonna do a quick stop over here to warm up and provided the weather is good enough to travel we'll carry on um, it's early in the day so we shouldn't have too much problem Getting to Timberwolf Mountain. You're guessing he hasn't been happy since he messed up the cougar update? <laughs> Damn it. Look at that knife. That was an 83 knife. That I kept forgetting. To drop indoors. What do we got? How much water do we got? 408. We don't need any more water. Uh, look at all the pots. We got extras. You're 81. 
I'm not repairing anything. Um, it's a ruined bedroll. You get zero uh, warmth bonus from it. Seven out of 20 hours. Well, check our food and water. I guess we're carrying this. Let's do that. Yeah, the cougar thing was a kind of a disaster, but honestly, you know what? Um, the whole DLC thing was a disaster, I think. I won't go into it, but uh, there we go. We got another hundred percent. Uh, anything in that 49 cloth? I already looked through here. Okay. What is, uh, I have two of those, so I don't need another one. We're look at that. We don't even need to eat a pie to get up the rope now. I would like one more bandage, but I don't want to make one. Uh, let's eat. Now, now the the DLC being a disaster is in no way uh, about the content of it. I think the uh, I think the DLC is very well worth the money. Oh, I really don't want to get caught out here. Although I can make it there without issue in a blizzard. I just don't want to. Uh, and we're just yeah, we're not we're not here to take out predators. We're here to just Go back because this is turning into a blizzard right now We got a lengthy book we can just sit there and read we got a six burner we can go cook a bunch of meat while we read uh, We don't need to damage our clothing that bad and we don't even need to cook. We don't need to cook. But we will. Uh, do we have wood? drop the rabbit meat oh I didn't grab wood uh, just so I didn't have to sort through it I think the bear would appear up top anyways because I think it's going by alphabetical come on little fire come on Six minutes. Uh, I should probably grab. Some sticks. That's actually good right there. We don't need to make no water. We got bunches right there. Uh, so that is all good. We'll just go downstairs where it's quiet. Provided we have a red toolbox.
There we go. And I guess uh, we'll drop you. It's still a blizzard. Uh, they just need to put new regions in DLCs. Do you think that's all people really want in new places to explore? I think I've said it before. Like I want like the prison in Blackrock. I want I want all the buildings to be opened. I think there's uh, some places in the dam that they can open up as well. Fairly e I mean, I shouldn't say fairly easily. I don't know how to uh, how to code anything, but I'm sure for people who do, it's fairly easy, right? The storm is over. So we will grab. We can take up to 48 kilograms. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. And that's actually perfect right there. What do we got for water? 311. Let's take some more water. They could make one region just for for me called Ice Lake Falls. <laughs> Nifo's thin ice. Once a time, I think one more game day, possibly. I'm not entirely sure though. We'll see. Forgot my meat. <laughs> I forgot my scent meat. we weren't too terribly far damn it complaining about the pies number one <laughs> for this stream what's the time we still have plenty of time we can make it timberwolf mountain I think the, the, the problem will be, like, will we have enough alertness? It's not a terribly large climb, but... We're still... I believe, I believe when that alertness area uh, icon... I believe when that gets halfway, that's where you start losing your capacity.
Yeah, we're still at 45. We might have to drink a coffee. We do have a lot of coffee, though. I, I believe I brought more coffee than I would ever need. Yeah, that would be the smart thing. Sleep uh, like at the bunker before the climb is where, yeah. But we'll see. I mean, if there's if there's still good daylight available, uh, did all those pies stack? No, they didn't. Seven. There we go. If there's still good daylight, I'll I'll. I'll push on. Until we get there. We'll see. I mean, coffee serves a purpose, right? And I, as much as I don't want to drink the coffee, it kind of has a purpose, and that's to give you a little bit of a boost. We have lots of these pies. I initially, when I grabbed the one pie from, uh, uh, the the little barn out in the muskeg i i actually thought there was one pie there i didn't realize there was eight of them so i don't have a problem with eating another one there was eight or nine something like that there was several way more than one You've made this walk so many times. Yeah, me too. I, I've done this so many times. Like, I can do this in a blizzard without any issue and get to the rope. Uh, I just... Choosing... At this point, having just repaired a bunch of my clothing... To not do it during the blizzard. I would love... To get around that guy without him seeing me. But I'd also love if there was birch bark over here. Ah, oh, he saw me. Is there another piece? No. Let's just go. I don't want to fight. We're leaving. We have no reason to fight him. One thing you'd like to see in this game is a live map in the top corner. Really? I think, I mean, a lot of games do have a, a, a map on the, on the screen, but I think in this game, the maps have been basically useless that if you play long enough, you just get used to not using them. Like I, uh, for the most part, I can get my way around every region. Uh, excluding the new regions because I haven't been in them enough, but I mean you guys all know I have a terrible memory So I mean unless your memory is worse than mine You sh shouldn't be too bad 
They just get used to it not being there though. It would, I, I agree, it would be nice in a blizzard, but at the same time, that's kind of part of the game, right? Making sure you know where you're at and trying to judge the, the weather conditions so that you don't get trapped in, a, in an area if a blizzard hits. Like I would, I would guess that in a real survival situation, that's that's kind of something that you would want to be doing is is making sure that you're you're making good decisions. We gotta be careful up there because of that. Those three squiggly lines. And we're at 4472. We can eat you. These are all one, okay. Alright, I don't I don't know that this bear can actually come up here. I think he's kinda of bugged, but you never know. Uh, and go figure. Here's Nifo saying, I wish I had a rock. I did so good for a couple of streams by carrying a rock with me and then I through that one just cutting through mystery lake and never bothered to pick up another one it might be okay i think we're okay always be up here I also don't remember how long ago it was when we took this bear out or or did we take him out I think I did but I can't remember shocker Got ourselves a cute little bunny. It would be nice to actually get through this area up, uh, up ahead. Oh, geez, that scared me. <laughs> I just saw motion around that tree thinking instantly it's a wolf. I would love to get by this area up here. Note to self, Nifo needs to carry rocks all the time. I think everybody should carry at least one rock. And if you throw it, go pick it back up or find another one and pick it up. You can distract the animals with it. Jesus, this is cold. Well, nobody's touched our meat. I don't know how that works. I know people out there do know how that works. I don't.
Uh, okay. I think we're gonna jump into the bunker. Which will lose him in the process. Uh, we'll warm up a bit and I th we'll see once we're warm we'll we'll check out I mean that that sun's gonna be halfway on the horizon and we're entering whoops my lazy finger drew on this guy I did not mean to do that. I did not want the degradation on an arrow or my bow this close from not having to fight him. Plus, I didn't want the risk. Maybe the animals didn't want to mess my perfectly laid out meat. Maybe. Three you. Uh, I think the smart thing is to stay here. There we go. And I guess we will just read the book. Now we'll go to bed. <laughs> yeah, let's do the smart thing today. That's... Uh, I'm gonna see if it's gonna it, i mean i don't anticipate it letting me but maybe sometimes no all right is there anything else i can do i can make a bandage i don't want to i don't feel like it can't do any repairs obviously uh we can't eat We won't need a coffee to get up that, so that's fine. Um, I think let's let's put this down again. Past time. There we go. Forty-six thirty-nine. And now, do we have anything I can drop versus eating? I can probably drop most of those. I'm not sure I can carry much more. But I'm not going to. Uh. Well. There we go. We got lots of them. It's not a big deal. And up we go. Yeah, nothing to see here. Let's get going. Let's grab some sticks. Uh, if we can grab some sticks. Now, entering Timberwolf Mountain, I've had this before, I've said it before, I've I've encountered a, a wolf at the landing gear. 
when entering with three bars of scent. So I think the animals, the wildlife, I think they smell you right. I don't know if they can smell you in this part because we have a load screen to go through. But they can smell from quite a far distance when you got three bars. So don't be thinking like, oh, I've never seen a wolf by that moose spawn. You could. I was baffled when I first saw him too. I thought, wow, how far did he come? You have as well? Yeah. Now I'm trying to decide, like, do, do we stay, sorry, do we stay and wait for an Aurora? Maybe we get lucky and we get an Aurora first night. And then we can find out real quick if we, uh, I'm going to pull you out. Then we can find out real quick if we actually have done a good search, a proper search for the caches. I kind of want to see a wolf up here. Just so people can see. The every once in a while I know something. <laughs> I just do not trust this area. Uh, and I believe we had the moose out there. I think. I'm gonna grab all these sticks for certain. And I saw the birch bark, don't you worry. I saw it. There we go. Saw another one too. Oh, this is the moose spawn. Okay. Uh, I'm not walking that far for a for a stick. I saw the fire pit and then I thought, ooh. And then I yeah, uh, then I noticed the markings. I don't make a fire out here for really any reason unless I've gotten a moose um, how many of those we do oh, beautiful we got four you don't see no wolf I'm happy oh I heard him where oh there you are And I get you. Gotcha. The bunny, I had no part of this. No sticks for you. Is that the bear? You think that's the bear? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's the bear. Put that away. You're all cooked. That's really good. There it is. Mert said I left it. Oh, and you're no good anyway, so. So you guys, curators, Vaughns, and the hunters, plus 43 rounds and 34 rounds. These all have to go back to the camp office as well as that. They're now ruined, ruined, ruined. Uh, sometimes ruined is like still got a couple percent and I think I tore apart coach's boots one day yeah I did you're 85 you're 87 I'm gonna drop our meat just that meat uh, drop you I want that that bear to come this way I also want to warm up is there any chance we would get a wind block under here Crazier things have happened, right? Because if I go into the cabin, I'm not gonna. He's gonna just lose interest. And he's so close. Damn. I'm freezing. Oh, maybe I should screenshot everything in here so I know what's in here. That's not a bad idea. in there nine leather nine leather oh hey 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 we can harvest that good thinking Darth on the screenshot. Where did he get to in five minutes? He was like right there. It only takes five minutes, I think, to harvest an arrow. Where did he get to? Those are all our footprints. Our footprints. Minus nine on the temperature. Well, he can't have gotten too far. Oh, there he is. Where the hell? Oh, maybe I guess he just blended with the rock. Notes are dumb. Screenshots are so much easier. I can't feel my feet. Yeah. Sometimes you don't really need to know how many, you just sometimes you just need to know that there's some. All right, we're just going to chill over here. Obviously, you can't build a fire on a wooden structure. Bringing everyone here. This should be bear thirty six, yeah. 
That is bear 36. Okay, we can go inside now. It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. <laughs> that wolf is close. Did he just literally walk right there? Am I actually even safe right here? I don't even know. I don't feel safe. I can tell you that. You would think so? That's too far. Well, I want to warm up. Uh, did I have anything in the drawer of metal? That's basically what that is. Uh, we have a moose head down there. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. So we got a moose hide and three bear hides. I don't know if I, oh, that's what we can do. I didn't want to read for a full hour. We got. I want to get out on that pier. Oh, you're not very far. I don't know if the wolves can come on here. I would guess that they probably could. But I don't really know. It's almost looking like no. But at the same time, it would be pretty cool if they could. Yeah, no, they can't come up here. Freebie. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to run inside. If I do that, and then I go over here. Come on. I want to play. I'm going to go inside. Uh, what was I going to do before he interrupted me? I was going to warm up while I... Ooh. Oh, I was gonna check and see if the bear is down. That's what it was. I hate being cold because I really do. Uh, bear thirty six is down. There we go. Uh, maybe. Leave our scent here. Because we can't put that bear meat or we, we can't put that rabbit meat into the, uh, the sled. How many sticks are we at? 30? That's just the birds flying overhead. Yeah, 
Yeah, bear search time. Is that him? Maybe? I think that's him right there. That was uh, fairly easy. Minus four, that's too bad. I wish that was. <laughs> Let's be honest, I wish it was my uh, plus seven. That would be way cooler than this. Oh, that's not a bear, that's you. Take that. It's meat, right? That's too bad though. I was kind of thought it was the bear. It was a uh, sure carry much more. Fairly large lump. Well, let's go back and get rid of the scent. What percentage? You're all at a 90. Okay. You know what? Let's just continue looking. This meat can go into the sled. And if we find another wolf due to it, uh, that's kind of a bonus. Ah, maybe there? Is that? Birch Park right there? It's kind of a ways away from any uh, birch trees. Oh. I'm going this way. Oh, there's a rock. You're, see, you're still thinking smart. And yeah, one of you guys must be. I didn't get attacked by anything. There's the bear. That is the bear this time. Okay, you know what? This is probably... I don't know. Are you an existing carcass? Or did that wolf take you out too? Let's do that. I would say this is probably uh, an existing carcass. Yeah, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Yeah, 70. Oh, I don't know. Like, I don't know that that is close enough to that that the bear would have scared unless the bear came this way but i think the bear came up and came over this way i don't know doesn't matter we got the hide right i took the hide right yeah two and two we're gaining temperature but we have a wind block i think i want to go there Do that. I don't really care about, uh, okay. I want those and I'm going to take the guts first.
All right, there we go. Uh, you're heavy. You know what? Just because of the weight, let's throw those in there. Let's take five at a time. I'm going to try and do this without a fire. We might come back in the morning. Get the rest of it. We're still gaining temperature. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. There we go. <laughs> Get right in there. Climb back inside the bear. You think I should go for all 20? What the hell? I never do stupid things, so I mean, it's only fitting that I do something stupid. Okay, we're losing temperature. If that goes double or triple arrows down, we're pooched. Okay, it didn't. We gotta need some food right away, too. But we got the whole bear. Let's pull that out. Man, I could use a drink. You think we're gonna get a blizzard soon? I think you are correct. But we're pretty close. To the hut. I'm not worried so much about the drink as I am obviously about the food. But uh, now we're okay. We're just going right there. I don't know if I can get up there if I go around to the left. But I will go this way and I think we can climb up there. Now, you are venison. You are bear. Let's drop that. Let's eat that so we don't have to worry about it. We'll drink up. And we'll basically stand right here. Uh, too much to carry. We'll drop all the bear meat here. You're cooked though. Uh, you're moose meat. That's not. I don't like dropping meat on the hill. But whatever. I did it. And you are raw. You are raw. Let's leave them. Alright, we got. Another bear hide. Got a bunch of deer hides, I guess. We got eight, I guess. And we got those. Maybe we should get some water. A 
Oh, wait a second. I already have sticks on Yeah, I have sticks on me. What am I doing, fool? Let's cook all that meat. It'll only take 37 hours and all the wood in the forest. Yeah, no kidding, right? That would take forever. All right, there's an hour 42-ish. I can do that. Uh, I am going to drop five kilograms of this. Eat up some of our meat. Uh, we cannot leave here without this stuff. What's the time of day? It's... That's not what I wanted. We can make an arrow. There we go. And I'm not going to make any more, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, we have 34 arrow shafts. Let's just double check what's in here. Nothing really that we need. Uh, 24 until boiled. What's our clothing like? 87. 54 minutes. Well. I think at this point I could probably I don't think I need to carry the paint anymore please there we go. oh I have paint up there I have paint everywhere why do I have paint down here give me that paint I wish I could scooch myself in there. Right here, 14, 14. Twenty-eight minutes on there. Let's grab some uh I mean this is all cooked. We don't really need to cook any meat. But we have moose meat, let's cook it. I guess. Forty six minutes. And we'll go to sticks. Oh, of course, it's like one minute short, right? Uh, we will. I think we'll read an hour of this book. That won't burn. Cooked. Cooked. We have our pot, so that's good. Uh, I think we're going to stay here. I'm going to pick up the rabbit meat. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Where to leave you so I don't forget you when we leave You're like I, said, I think we're gonna stay here for a little bit and just kind of double check if we had actually done a proper search you're all one kilogram that's all I have okay smart guy would light a fire again you know that Let's grab that. And... Yeah, let's do this. Let's get that going. Come on, little fire. Get you. 
Get you 46 minutes on the fire. That works. Check my whetstone. I replaced it, didn't I? Yeah, I replaced it with my... With a better one. Um, uh, I don't need... Honestly, I don't need to have two of those. We are good. And I think we'll end this here. So for those of you on YouTube, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and I will see you all again.